inside Arvid. And if they can catch this man out, it should be amazing. The problem is he has the sentry with the invisible, but a nice chance from Nur. Better spun him up. Arvid wasn't expecting it, but it won't matter. Stop a fire. Oh, they're going to find Yamsun. This is the big one. Yamsun hanging around in the triangle, already losing most of his mana, though he does pop the stone gaze and tries to walk away, but the rupture is still going. Yamsun, he'll try to just tank through this. Onto the high ground he goes. Arteezy, he'll bring him right back down, but he's in trouble now. Arteezy getting pulverized, but he does kill off Yamsun. Sableye, the one to take the kill, and now he can back his way out successfully as Sableye will just keep going. High ground, here for nouns. Trusting their draft. So it's gotten to the point where this Medusa is a real problem as they're gonna try and jump on Gunner, but a nice chains away again. Arbid's uh, still gonna find the Medusa. Save the light, does go for the back wall. He has got the Medusa in that, but Yamsun is walking away. Problem is he's losing a lot of mana. But he will stone gaze TP with the BKB. Still Shopify. They want to chase. They want something for all this trouble. Gunner. Is going to be the big target. Normal punch is there. He is sound as well. Gunner still trying to run, but this is too much. He will lose the Aegis. That'll be the first life around. They want the second though. Gunner, unable to chain away as the normal punch was there again. And this time, Arbet. Yeah, the back wall's going to be very effective. The Husky is in position to break the smoke and will jump in after seeing the CM. He wants at least one support gone. And Husky, well, he's tanking through with the Glimmer Cape. He's actually buying a little bit too much time, I think, but he is dead. Still nouns. Now do rupture up Moose, or rather Moo on the Primal Beasts. He will turn around for a Pulverize back in onto Saberlight. The Dark Team will be able to get forced off the way, so he's just fine. As Moo does drop and nouns, it seems like they can't take the team fight. They need to back out of here, but they're still going to try Gunner. Moving in onto the Rubik does at least find one. Meanwhile, Yamsa still pretty healthy. He'll turn around now. Shopify, have they gone too far? I think they may have. They'll lose the Lich as well. Fly is down still Sableye jumping back in onto Yamsa, finding more illusions, but they're still proving not to be enough. So he's taking he's taking quite a bit of damage out of that. Is uh, Yamsa going to get jumped? Wall is dropped, a lot of damage already being dealt to Yamsun, but he will kind of get the mana back with the Mystic Snake, and he'll be just fine as Husky. If anyone to drop so far, Arbed, he's pretty damn deep. So he does get petrified by the Stone Gaze, he is gone. Arbed is down, the Saberlight gonna jump in again, still trying to drain the mana of Yamsun, but he's still fine with the Mystic Snake, still standing his ground. Meanwhile, Crit, he got the Stone Gaze off back and onto the Medusa. Yamsun still some, somehow surviving, but should go down. He has no mana to speak of, it does come in now. He'll go for the Manta, but eventually he will drop. Crit with the Stone Gaze, getting through the mana pool of Yamsun. Nouns, looks like they've decided this is not safe and they want out of this, though I say that, Gunner. Moving onto the high ground by himself. Yamsun trying to loop around, perhaps as Gunner does chain away. Rolling Thunder was committed. Fly did buy back into this fight. Sableye, they're gonna find the Timber Saw, but Yamsun pops the Stone Gaze a little bit preemptively. Stone Gaze is now down. Wall will be dropped. Sableye trying to move in with a big vacuum. He's got three targets and crit. He's got the freezing field. Yamsun's out of mana again. Yamsun is gone. Saberlight with a triple kill! It's gonna force the BKB TP away! So everything you could ask for is now lining up here. Also just get Saberlight. He's gonna be okay. Husky, the one in danger, does pop his own freezing kill to try and walk away from this, but it is gonna be stolen, it looks like, by Crit. In fact, no, it's the Frostbite that does get taken. So Husky is down. Again, remembering there is no buyback available on him or Yamsun. Shopify Rebellion look to take a lot off this high ground. Arbet does hold them back. Sableye gonna move back in now. Onto the Keeper of the Light. Those Dragon back with the vacuum. So Arteezy can get the job done and Crit will take the kill. Meanwhile, Arbet is still messing around here with the Timber of Gunner. Arbet will back his way out. Should maybe make it in time to try and force a fight, but they're gonna go now. Now he'll make the jump in. They're on Sableye. The Darkseer is gone. Move. That's a big onslaught. He landed on four heroes, but he's in such big trouble. Mu is down. But here comes Yamsa. He'll try to fight with Gunner. They've got Crit down. Flies in danger as well. Barely walking away with the Glimmer Cape. Meanwhile, Arteezy being slowed up. But in comes Saberlight. Trying to save his teammate, but Arteezy's gone. Arteezy is down. He has buyback available. But he can't get there in time. So Arbed gonna jump in. Look at the damage oh output. Arbed. He does it himself. Yamsa and Mu. Both dropping to the Pango. There's Gunner. Trying to escape, he's so low on mana, he's just being harassed down by the illusions. 
of the dark series. Gunner surely has no way out. Still trying to tank through it. We'll chain away. Still healing up a little bit, but it's not enough. Naturally, we are 60 minutes into the game and we are not going to see Q5 items as is tradition. Sableye's going to jump in. Husky's going to be the target. Meanwhile, Gunner gets hexed up by Fly, who has decided to buy up. Gunner trying to chain back to the fountain. He's not going to be able to make it. That has to be it. Shopify just focusing on the tier 4 towers. Now, maybe having a bit of a conversation as to what went wrong in this game one. Still trying to defend with Husky. Might find Arbit's Aegis. But that's only the Aegis as Husky is gone. GG is called. The Amps on scene enough. Prince already there hanging around. Gunner's Courier goes down to Arbit. Charges out onto Arbit. We'll see if he can survive this one. If the charge does not land, a nice zip away. Meanwhile, Crit does outtrick Gunner for the Wisdom Rune. So they do get away with it as Arbit's going to try and TP out and is going to be fine. He tried to get some action elsewhere and they do get punished. Still, does not get the, the power rune he wanted. Pounces out from Yamsun, but Arbit still healthy enough. But Gunner's coming in now. They've got a charge for the vision. Arbit, he's now out of mana, but Crit is going to come in and help him out a little bit as Arbit. Nah, he's fine. Surely they can't get him. They'll get Fly instead. Arbit now turning back around. Move. He dives a little bit too far in. The whole side of Shopify rotate. They do find Lil in the Spirit Breaker. And now they've got Lelis on the clinks. Sableye. He might complain. He's done this a charge up. Huh? Pounce does land from Yamsun. Problem is the rotations are already coming. Fly. He'll get the disruption off. So the Doom is going to be fine to back off the Sableye. He's thinking about popping the Doom. He won't do so. Instead, he'll just let Mu die to Arbit. Who's really starting to pop off now in the store. Uh, no, NA Mats, Australian Mats. Mats. What's the difference, Mike? It's 66 points. I've got to get it right eventually. Yamsun. <laughs> Arbit. Oh, Arbit. He, he's just setting up everything perfectly here. Well, it's not dealing that much damage at the moment as the things for Gunner. Ooh, definitely help out, but now a nice shackles from Artis. Hold him down, so they'll turn back around onto the wind range and lock him down with a hex out. He is just dead. Like, that was a, a, a pig out from Artis himself. Never mind the hex. Sprint. Also dropping. Ahmed trying to find his way out. Will be able to do so. Shattered Wound, so he can further behind to the save Zon. Gunner, he's got the Aegis, but it's going straight away. Artis is doing a lot of damage on this Wind Ranger as they are going to charge in, trying to make sure Gunner does remain alive. Gunner puts his BKB for this, but the chain, it doesn't get into the high ground, but he'll walk up himself. He's okay for now. Problem is, Arbor just keeps going. Mu trying to run, but he was perched up by Sableye. And now the Demonic Perch is going to slow him up even more. In the dire jungle, they run right into Nouns. No movement around the area. Smoke broken immediately. Nouns, they were trying to go for a smoke of their own. But they have at least found Crit to start. Doom was committed on Gunner, though, so Gunner cannot help in this team fight as Crit is still alive, but he finally goes down. Problem is, Gunner's being focused by Arteezy. Ahmed's found Yamsun. Yamsun is down to food. This is not the team fight Nouns wanted, because now, now they need to really get out of this. Inside Ahmed. And if they can catch this man out. Would be amazing. The problem is he has the sentry with the division, but a nice charge from Mu. Gonna stun him up. Arbit wasn't expecting it, but it won't matter. He's still too tanky. Oh, so close. Arteezy in the meantime is casually taking top racks as they are still trying to force the fight while the Wind Ranger is not around. But I don't know if they actually need Arteezy. Crit does go down. That's a good start. Lelis will do as well, but a nice shackles Arteezy locking down too. Yamsun is down. Gonna being chased as well in the timber. Tries to duplicate TP away, and he's gonna make it. Jump in again from Gunner. Charge is out from Luke. Trying to find the IO, but save light with the Angst Doom is in onto Gunner. The timber saw he is just dead. He will buy back immediately. Back with the team fight, he comes. Lelis also getting caught out, has no buyback available. He's gone, and Luke will also go down with that buyback. It's three versus five. It is not looking great as Husky also committing his own buyback now. As Nouns are still trying to fight back, but the Ancient is halfway down. The creeps are incoming. Shopify are literally just playing with their food now. In goes Sableye. Lelis is gone another time. Sableye dies. Don't let the creep army do the job. The Ancient's gone. Shopify Rebellion once again the best team in North America. And I'll tell you, I've, I feel kind of bad for Nouns, John.